Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here, and I'm going to showcase another self-defense tool. From time to time, I'll showcase different tools I have in the past, and I will in the future. Self-defense tools that give people an option, something they can look at a little different besides carrying the standard gun and knife, pepper spray, or taser. And I have showcased some of those on my videos as well. Well, today I'm going to show you something a little different because I think people should have, you know, a view of different varieties out there that they can use to defend themselves. Some of these things are great, some of these things not so great. Some of these things are legal to carry, some can get you in trouble if you don't have the proper permits for carrying them. This one today <clears throat> is called the Cat Ear Self-Defense Ring. And it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty uh, user-friendly and simple to understand. Try to bring it in close. I know right now my camera's not doing a very good focus. But what it is, it's just a stainless steel ring with some cat ears. Now, I do have also the cat keychain where you put your fingers in there and you can strike and have the two points. This is a little different. This is a small ring. Now, using a ring to defend yourself is nothing new. I mean, high school ring will cut you open, wedding band will cut you open, you know, college ring. Certain rings will hurt you. Some rings are designed to have points so you can do just that. Well, that's what this is. Now, this I got on eBay because it's a little company that sells these. And I'm like, I think I paid like a dollar ten for this, something real cheap. I've seen them go for a dollar to <clears throat> four dollars. Now they come in three different colors. They're stainless steel ones, really shiny. This one has kind of a blackish tint to it. <clears throat> Some are gold, so basically. Now I'm gonna have Bob here. He's gonna be my practice partner. It's set up pretty good. Now, the ring itself, the downfall of this ring is the size of the ring. I wear a size 13 ring finger and they didn't have that size so then it's, it's probably almost a 12 it's very tight so <clears throat> fits on my pinky perfect you know it's nice and snug so but <clears throat> regardless kind of kind of using it like the griffin grip in a way i can wear it this way to where i can slash and tear pop or I can flick it around to where I can punch soft parts of the throat into the jawline, go into the eye area, scrape across the face. Someone gets a hold of me, let me turn it around. It is kind of tight on my fingers. I can jam it into and rip into their knuckles or hit their knuckles. Again, like I said, rake the face. So it does have its good qualities. Um, you know, they say it's for men and women, but the size of the ring is more designed for um, a lady's hand. Or somebody with very small fingers on the man's size. Like I said, it, it, but, you know, it fits good on my pinky, so I can actually put it on my pinky. I can walk and I can hit with it. Problem is, you know, I'm hitting with the lower part, not my two primary knuckles. But again, just like anything else, once you have it on, you know, it's basically, you know, someone grabs a hold of me, I can uppercut them into the chin area and rake. I can hit them in the throat, can scrape down on the face. If I have it turned like this, I can slash across the face, slash into the eyes, can rip, grab around the throat, which I'm a big fan of, and rip into the throat and squeeze, and cut into them with the points. You know, if they've got me in a bear hug, I can, you know, if my hands are down, I can reach down, grab the groin, squeeze with it. If they've got me over, I can reach around, tear into the knuckles. They've got a hold of my wrist, rip into the knuckles. So it has its good points, uh, no pun intended. And again, <clears throat> the downfall I see, number one, is the size of the ring, depending what, you know, your fingers. Second downfall is it's going to stand out. It really is. You put it on, it's gonna, someone's going to look at it, they're going to see the ring. Anybody with common sense is going to know what that is. I doubt very much you're going to carry this into places that you're not allowed to. I don't know if they'll let you on a plane with something like this. I 
don't know, you know, if you can walk around school with something like this. So you might get yourself in trouble. It's, this is kind of questionable. But I wanted to showcase it for you guys and get you a chance to see it. Weighs nothing because it's, you know, it's stainless steel, but it's very light. The ears, they're pretty pointy. They, um, they definitely rip. Let me do the old uh, paper towel test. Roll up paper towel. You know, just kind of rip into it. Yeah, and it kind of rips into it a bit. You can see where the where it pokes in. That's just a quick little rip. So, you know, the paper towel is not too thick. I do that with knives, a quick cut, see if you get a good cut. So, it's definitely going to cut your face. So, you rip into it. It's definitely going to cut into you. So, the flesh is tender. That's right where I'm going to hit and strike. Again, now, there's not really a major company that makes this. I see a bunch of different companies sell this. If you're looking for this, just type in self-defense ring, cat self-defense ring, and you'll probably see it. Or just um, don't type in cat ring because it won't come up that easy. Just type in self-defense rings and you'll see it, tons of them. And then this comes up a lot. And again, it's a couple of dollars. Just something different in case for those of you that are looking for something different and unique in the self-defense world. Master Gary Hernandez with another showcase. And I'm out.